Hey everybody, Srini here from the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. Um, so you know, I mentioned in the blog post that nowadays the AI is getting much more powerful than it was about a year ago. Uh, a year ago when you use tools like this, they were super clunky, the, the results weren't very good, and you just didn't really end up with anything you want. But you know, one of the things that has to happen for machine learning to work really well is you need data. And one of the things that's happened as a byproduct of Logojo being around for a year is they've had over 1.5 million people create logos using their tools. So that's you know, 1.5 million people almost who've, you know, made color choices, uh, font choices, design choices. And, and, you know, if you think about it, almost all of the things that we do when it comes to design and, and particularly a lot of creative work are, are, you know, inputting forms of data, like choosing fonts, choosing colors, choosing image locations, choosing height sizes. So as we do that more and more, a lot of the tools that we, um, use from a graphic design standpoint for AI will become a lot more powerful than they are right now. So let's start with this one. We're going to create a logo just for, you know, my personal use and you'll see how this works. And, you know, you can do this really fast. So I'm just going to say, okay, I'm an author. You know, sometimes it'll ask you to come up with a slogan. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, forgive my screen sharing there. And so I'm going to go to continue. So this is where it gets interesting. So you pick five or more logos that you like. Now, what this does again is basically it's basing all of your choices based on previous data inputs and it's predicting uh, what you like. And that's how machine learning typically works. So as more people end up creating logos with this thing, Logo Joe will actually become even more powerful than it is now. Uh, so then you, know, you get here, you get to pick colors. And the nice thing is that even if you pick colors here, uh, you don't actually have to commit to all of them. You're able to, you know, do whatever you want. And so now, you know, I'm just going to say author slash podcaster uh, as my slogan. And then we continue. So here it gives you the option to either find symbols or suggest them. So I'm going to browse symbols specifically because I want to use, you know, headphones for mine. Um, but you could do anything, right? You could put any sort of icon. So I'm going to just pick the, the first pair of headphones here. And now what you'll see is we're going to get some designs that uh, I can use for my personal logo. So some of these are cool. Some of these not so much. You know, some of them, uh, you know, I don't love. Uh, but the thing is that you can load more. Uh, and if you pick one, you know, you can actually go and modify that. So I actually, you know, I think this one right here is pretty cool. Um, and I think this one is cool. So, you know, let's, let's go with this one, uh, just because, you know, we can do some stuff. So now you get the option to edit it and here's where it gets even cooler is you have all these options to, to design it, you know, so they have design ideas. Um, so, you know, we can change styles here. So for example, if I wanted that, you know, that's a pretty nice looking logo for, you know, something, this is probably my favorite one. So now you get here and, and you know, you have this black, you have the orange, we can actually change the color and, and all of that. And, uh, you know, so basically you have, you know, font variations as well. So we can change fonts, um, you know, they have 156 different results, but let's go with this font. And so we do that, we save that as a copy and that becomes, you know, the font and you can do that, you know, uh, font for everything else too. And so the slogan is there, um, you know, we have a symbol already. Now we can, you know, mess with the color combos if we want. So you see here that, you know, for example, I can do this. Um, they also have, you know, gradient options for your colors. So this could be, you know, a much cooler way to do it or, you know, this, uh, so I picked this, let's pick this for, you know, the gradient option. And so now you've got basically in a matter of just a few minutes, uh, a complete logo for a brand that actually for something that was done almost entirely by a machine doesn't look so bad. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool. And then of course they have, you know, this whole thing and, and um, you can create your own sort of custom stationary. But overall, I think that, you know, this is a tool that has made a lot of progress uh, considering, you know, that it's basically just an AI tool. And, you know, if you look at it, all we've done is, you know, made some data decisions and we can go back and we can actually, you know, mess with the color palette as well, if you wanted to. And I could have it match up to the unmistakable creative, um, you know, color palette if I wanted. And so, you, know, you have this, but I've chosen, you know, the, the things that I did and, you know, I like, I kind of like this logo as it is. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically how you create a logo in LogoJoy using artificial intelligence.